Shalom. Manishma. Shalom. Makora. We're, uh, <laughs> we're drinking something very cool today. Yeah. Guess where we are? Israel. Tel Israel. Aviv. Where it's always five o'clock. <laughs> At the Whiskey Heathen Satellite Headquarters. Right here in Israel. In Tel where Aviv. it's always five o'clock. Yeah. Yep. It looks exactly like our studio back in Fort McMurray. But Nothing to do with green screens. No. Nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very excited for this, been holding on to this for a while and was super thrilled when it arrived in Canada. This is uh, Milk and Honey from obviously Tel Aviv, uh, Israel. This is their Apex series, single malt whiskey, small batch, Dead Sea. Very uh, exciting. Let me tell you a little Tell us. Bit I'm going to be nosing this and you tell us. Please do. So the Apex Dead Sea. The Milk and Honey Apex Dead Sea is our most exciting, fascinating, and anticipated release yet. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. We handpicked an array of casks from a variety of types and sizes and placed them on the roof of a hotel on the coast of the Dead Sea. Everybody from the really? Exposed to the harsh and dynamic climate of the lowest place huh. on earth. The roof of a hotel. That's correct. How interesting. Uh, resulting in almost 40% of angel share during wow. that time. Wow. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm also concerned. 40%. Wow. Greedy, greedy angel. <laughs> the Milk and Honey Apex Dead Sea is a single malt whiskey like no other. This whiskey is as strong and intense as the climate it was matured in. It's an adventure we went on, driven by our love for whiskey and innovative spunk. Okay. So, a uh, little bit more back here. Hmm? The Milk and Honey Apex is a culmination of years of work and research that exemplifies our spirit of innovation and creativity. Driven by boldness and an aspiration to reach new heights, we composed the Apex, an exclusive opportunity of limited editions. Okay. This bottle of Milk and Honey Apex is an exploration of places and matters. Our head distiller, Tomer Gorin, specifically selects exceptional casks for each batch. Chosen, chosen for their distinct location of maturation or to showcase the magic of wood and terroir. Dedicated to true whiskey lovers, the Milk and Honey Apex is intended to be savored leisurely. Layers are revealed one scent at a time, complexity develops, and flavors unlock as the whiskey meets the air or a drop of water and lingers on the tongue. Um, we did... I would have to agree that it's a very complex nose. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. sniffed it just before we hit record and I was intrigued. Um, we did a whole series on milk and honey when they were leading up to their very first whiskey. Yes, that's right. We did their new make. We liked we did them. Their last one. I did. Yeah. yeah. And their classic. Uh, I should have brought some today, but eh. I didn't. I was excited for this one. Uh, but just quick little recap. Milk and Honey Distillery is Israel's first whiskey distillery established under the guidance of the late Dr. Jim Swan. We built a team of enthusiastic people who make everything possible. Our whiskeys are the result of our meticulous cask selection, perfected by the hot climate maturation mm -hmm. of vibrant Tel Aviv. Cool, cool. Get set to discover a new world of whiskey. Nice. Is it kosher? It is kosher. So, you know, that's exciting. Thankfully. Uh, Doesn't matter for me. I was going to drink what? it anyway. It matters for a lot of people. So that's cool, man. Why not? It feels good. And this stuff, milk and honey, we've been really impressed so far. We've had fun drinking their stuff. It's not the typical place you think, hey, where can I find an interesting whiskey? Oh, I know, Israel. It's not yeah. what yeah. comes to mind, yeah. but they're doing it and they're doing it well. Yep. Hopefully this one too. Uh, I will tell you that this was distilled uh, in June 24th, 2018, bottled uh, July 4th, 2021. Nice. And this is bottle one of 4,892. 4, Beautiful. Batch 10, 56.2%. Beautiful. Natural color, non-chill filter. Oh, thank you for telling us. Mainly because Seriously. they probably couldn't chill it in the desert. Ha, ah, because of the hot climate. I'm Captain Obvious. Man. I'm sure they'll find their ways. Uh, we picked this up, uh, actually you picked this up at Whiskey Drop, yes? I did. Cool. The boys at Whiskey Drop take care of us. They're yep. an excellent spot. You should check them out. You really should. Here's their website. Yep. You really, really should. They do some very cool stuff. I hear the staff are very good. The nose, uh, to me, yeah. is very mineralistic. Yeah. Uh, very like uh, stone, rock, granite type of thing. It's reminding me of one of my favorite whiskeys. Yes, me too, Alba. The From Foodies. another country totally. that starts with I. Yep. Ty, I, I thought the exact same thing when I smelled this. It reminded me of that puni immediately, man. And we love that puni. We have some quick memories connected to that puni as well, right? 
Mm. Yeah, shall we? Oh, we shall. Cast I got, strength, I got right? to know what this is about. Yeah, cast strength. 56.2. 56. Okay. Cigar box, man. Stone, stone, like something sweet in there. Something salty in there, too. I can't get a word out. Mm. Um, mm. That's nice. I like that a lot, actually. <laughs> when you say cigar box, it makes me think like cedar lined or the cedar pieces that come in it, but not quite cedar. Not cedar, but the cigar. You open a cigar box, like we just did downstairs. Mm. Open a cigar box. You get that whiff of tobacco and uh, kind of like uh, stale air a little bit. I like that a lot, man. This is interesting. Yep. It's a very, very interesting whiskey. There's almost a touch of honey in there as well. And I see what you're saying with the salt. It's like a salty sea brine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very, very interesting, man. Wow. I think this will be my favorite from Milk and Honey so far. Well, I think that's what they want you to uh, expect too. This is their, you know, what they're presenting as the apex of single yep. malt whiskey. For yep. There was another one. Uh, I didn't get it yet. I probably will just based off of one sip on this, but a different one. This the pomegranate. That's right. Yeah. If anyone's looking to sponsor an episode, mm -hmm. <laughs> send us over the pomegranate. It's only like 200 bucks. No, no, it's <laughs> like 175. Okay, not bad. Not yeah. cheap, but, but very tasty. I'm sure, I'm sure you're not mad at this. I'm not, buddy. No. I'm happy with this. Yep. Um, when you were talking about the, the stone, uh, it's like that limestone filtered mm, mm -hmm, water, mm -hmm. fresh waterfall with a touch of salt. Mm. Man. You got it, man. I'm gonna have some water. Um, I think it could change things drastically, mm. but I don't know. Got our trusty Glen Farkless jug here. And I'm gonna add a fairly healthy little sploosh. Yeah, pass that of water. Me. Just a, a, a little sploosh. And I'm not gonna let it settle. I'm gonna mix it in right away. I got plenty of time to play with Ty's whiskey later. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Let's let that roll around for a hot minute. Oh. A little bit chalky now on the nose. I know on the taste too, it changes the texture quite a bit. Uh, it's kind of removed some of that oil. Okay, it reminds me of a little bit of like a uh, raw muffin dough. Not quite that sweet cake yet, you know what I mean? But like a rawness in there. It's enjoyable. And these glasses too, like, I just can't say enough about these glasses. These are my new favorite glasses, and the whiskey really just centers into your nose. I like this a lot. I'm gonna add a touch bit more. Yeah, water I'm gonna try it with some water here now. Help me. Mmm. Mm. Oh my! It brings so much sweetness forward. I'm just a touch, just a little drop more actually now. Just a little dry. I get what you're talking about. Uh, batter. Yeah. The muffin batter. I get that. A little bit doughy. Sweetness. Yeah, that sweetness. Ready. Just, yeah, but just not quite there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not quite that uh, sweetness. Mmm. Mmm. I really enjoy this a lot, man. So do I. Yep, this is nice. Um, we had high hopes for this. Well, and it did not disappoint. Well, that's the worst thing about when you really hope that something tastes good and you're really, really excited to taste it, and then it doesn't live up to your expectations. It's happened before. Yep, it's happened before and it's devastating. This, not like that. This is delicious. I really enjoy this a lot. I think anyone who enjoys a little bit of the weirder side of whiskey, the mineralistic side, Almost maybe a touch of smoke, but not not exactly. More like, I don't know, an oak kind of thing going on there. Very nice. Ty? Like I said, what it's, are you thinking? it's not a region in the world that you think whiskey is going to come from. Not a go-to region for most people. Yeah. yeah. 
And it's hard to compare. We compared it to an Italian whiskey. Again, not yeah. another place you think of for whiskey. True. Just, we drank a lot of whiskeys in our life. Yep. A lot, especially on this show. Many. Um, to try to find a comparison and like, oh, this kind of tastes like this from this distillery. Nothing comes to mind except another weird one like Booney. Booney, yep. Very and strange. The reason we try Ooh. to say, hey, this reminds me of this is because maybe you've had the Pooney. And if you like the Pooney, you'd love this. There's no doubt in my mind. There's no doubt in my mind. If, if you like water filtered through rocks with a touch of salt and That's the lowest elevation in the world on the planet Lowest Earth. as you can go on this planet. Yeah. Right on. Very cool. Very, very cool. Fucking cool. That is fucking cool, man. Yeah. Yep. I'm pleased. I'm happy with this. I'm glappy. Uh, I'm glappy. I'm glappy. I bless less. I'm not like this. I'm happy that I busted out my favorite glasses for we, these. We've been drinking. Yeah, which I don't use very often. I, I set these aside for real special whiskeys, and I think uh, this one is very special. Very nice. I'm very happy with it. So, yeah. milk and honey, thank you once again. Uh, you know, uh, R.I.P. to Dr. Swan. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very happy with what you're doing. I look forward to years to come to see some of the uh, expressions you guys put out. Me too. This one's really nice. Really nice, yeah. Yeah, um, I'm, I've been wanting to open this for a while and I'm happy today was the day. Wow. Yep, very nice. Uh, milk and honey, fucking cheers, Ty, cheers, y'all, cheers. Um, and uh, if you want to do us a favor, see more. go ahead and hit that thumbs up, that like button. If you haven't done so already, that is. Hit subscribe, hit that bell, and. Uh, you know what else you can do? What else can you do? Share. Yeah. Please share it. Share it. Toda roba. Toda roba. There it is. Not yes. bad. Yeah, not bad. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna savor this last little bit. I'm gonna savor another pour. Okay. See ya. Bye, everybody.